What's up guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to create these dynamic word-by-word -word subtitles with this visual style using the free version of CapCut. It's important to note that I'm using CapCut version 5.0. More recent versions might have some of the features we'll use as premium features. All right, once we have our project created, we'll import our background video. In this case, I'll use a blank image. We'll also import the audio file to generate the subtitles. This last step is crucial. Now we'll head over to the Subtitles or Text tab, select the language Spanish, and click on Auto Captions. Ready. This is where the magic begins. Select all the generated subtitles and look for a text animation called Slight Stretch. Fortunately, this animation is free. Change the font to Montserrat and set it to bold. Leave the border as it is. In the glow effect, adjust the intensity to 28 and the range to 60. These values are optional and you can adjust them to your liking. Here's a demo of what it would look like with and without this effect enabled. In the shadows section, apply the following settings. Opacity to 100%, blurriness at zero, distance at eight, and angle at minus 90 degrees. This is how our basic subtitle style is shaping up. If you want to change the color of individual words, make sure the option to apply changes to all words is turned off. Now select any word and edit it as you like. I usually change the color to highlight keywords. If a word appears too large or goes outside the frame, simply select it and reduce its size. Once you've customized all the words you want, select all the subtitle clips. Right-click and choose the Create Compound Clip option. Now to add that eye-catching glow effect, I used to use the Edge Glow effect, setting it to 30, but now it's a paid feature. Then I tried Glow 2, which also became a paid feature. The only free one left, Luminance, didn't give me the result I was looking for. So I developed this alternative method. Select the compound clip we created earlier and duplicate it. To the duplicated clip, Add the luminance effect and adjust it with your preferred values. Then add the blur effect and set it to a high value like 100. Now go to the blending option and you can choose between brighten or screen modes. I recommend zooming in on the video in the editor to see how the effect will look once the video is exported. In this case, 
I'll stick with screen mode and adjust the opacity to around 80%. Finally, to give it a more dynamic touch, to each of the subtitle clips, both the original and the duplicated one with the glow, we'll add the motion blur effect. All that's left is to export our video. Thank you for making it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming techniques and tricks I'll be sharing.